how to play Ken Ken, the math puzzle game. And I did a video on the really simple version on how to play. In the previous one I did, I only had four by four. In this puzzle here, you can see I've got a five by five. Also in the previous puzzle I did, it was all addition only. Now I've got multiplication, division, and subtraction. So let's start by always looking for the simplest ones, which is the single ones, which is the give me, which is this. So that's a two, really simple. And we now know that no other two can go here. So let's come here and go, okay, so this is a four. And there and the and with two digits, and we need to hit four, the only possible way we're going to get to four would be one of these being a three and one of these being a one. It means that this has either got to be a four or a, a four or a five, and this has got to be a four or a five. Now I want you to look up here and go, well, the answer is going to be one. If we know that this isn't going to be a one, two, and three can't go here, then the only remaining numbers are four and five. Well, how would we make something minus something be one if we know this has to be a four or five? And the answer is going to be five minus four. Now we don't know if this is the five or this is the four, but we do know that one of these is a four and one of these is a five. The same thing could be said here. We know that one of, that this has to be a four or a five, but if the answer is gonna be four and it's four minus something to equal four, well, a four, we don't, zero is not an option. So what most likely fits here is five minus one, and since we know that one of these, so therefore one of these has to be four or five and five minus one is the only way to do this, that's gotta be a five. I wanna make sure you understand that. We haven't filled out yet if this is three or one, but we know that since one, two, and three are here, this has to be a four or a five and the uh, four and five to make one, but there's no way to use a four here. So therefore that has to be a five because we can't put a one there. Well, that does make that the four because, and that does make there the five, because five minus four will equal one. And also now we know that five minus one will make four. So that helps us there. So now we're at this, which is the division two. Well, so you know, you shouldn't be dealing with remainders at all. So if we're dealing with just one, two, three, four, and five, we have to find a way for something divided by something to be two. Well, that's going to be two divided by one, that makes two. Also four divided by two makes two. Now, because we have the one down here, it definitely can't be two divided by one. And we know this is a two or a four, and this is a five. To make this column one, two, three, four, five, what must this be? This is a one, but there's a two and a four in here and a five. This must be a three. And by doing that, it's three plus something to make four, that must be a one. So let's come to this, 60 times 10. We need, and as you can see, it's an L-shaped thing, meaning it's three numbers, and, in, and though one through five has to be different in the rows and the columns, you could have something this way that is the same. Now, since we have one, two, three here, we know that a four and a five is going to have to go either here or here. And this is where math comes in, because four times five is 20 and we have to hit 60. So what number would be 20 times something to make 60? And the answer is three. So we're gonna have to know that this is a three, and that means that one of these is the four and the five. So let's make that the three. And now let's look across the top row again. We know we have a five, four, three. There's a two divided sign, and like I said, two divided by one is two. One of these has to be a one, one of these has to be a two, but since there's a one here, the one has to go here because it can't be in the same column. Therefore, the two has to go there. So let's move ahead to the next thing, um, which is also here. It's a two with a divided sign. We know that it can't be, uh, it can either be a two divided by one, as this is, or it's gotta be two divided by, a four divided by two, as this is, but there's a one here so there can't be a one here. So we now know that one of these is gonna to have to be a two and one of these is gonna to have to be a four. We don't know which. So let's go ahead then and say, if that's a one and that's a two and a four and that's a five, 
then what must that be? The remaining number must be a three. If you look at this column here, one of these is gonna be a four and one of these is gonna be a five. Now look at this, 12 times three. If there was a five here, five times what would get you 12 if our choices are only one through five? Actually, nothing. But if this was the four, you could have four times three and that would be 12. And since that's really our only option, that must be the four and therefore that must be the three. And then one, two, three, four, what must this be missing? It's a five in this column, so it's five. So this needs to add up to 10. Five plus three is eight. So what makes it to 10? Two, great. Let's move down here. We know that this is either a four or a five. We have one, two, three, four. That means this is either gonna be a four and a five. And we know that it has to be a four divided by two, so therefore that's the four. Divided by two is two. And then that helps us know that that's the five. And we know that we said three times five is 15, times four is 60. And now that's helping us even more. We have, because the rest of it's gonna fall into place really quickly. We know that this, to make a five, is a one, a five minus one. We can't put a five there. Therefore that must be the five and that must be the one, and now we're really gonna to start to put this together. We know that we're missing a one and a three here, but that can't be the three, and that can't be the one, so therefore that must be the three. Three plus one there's, makes four, and now we can fill this in. That's missing a two, and it's gonna be four divided by two, and there you go.